Hello guys, this is Death Dealer. Welcome back to another episode on the Let's Build a Modern City series. This is our fourth episode and well, before we get started and you can see I've got a few new things here. I would just like to say the first three episodes are doing so well. Episode 1, 313 views. Episode 2, 180. And episode 3, 54. So, for this episode, if I could get 5 likes, that would be great. And just share it around as much as you can, get as much views and stuff. But anyway, today what we have planned is we're going to, well we're going to add in some more roads, we're going to populate the roads with some of these vehicles and I'll be making more and we'll be doing something else with the roads as you can see over there. Now, let's just have a look at each of these vehicles shall we? Now this is a, a dump truck, it's a garbage truck, comes around, collects your garbage, rubbish, whatever you're from, terms still the same and goes and takes it to a landfill. Pretty simple design, but as you can see. Yeah, I've got it holding dirt right now. Yeah, we're using that. That will be used in the suburban areas of the size, so towards the outskirts. We have a, a van or a truck. These are used for, of course, transporting goods such as um, maybe if you get a delivery from FedEx or something. So yeah, these are, these are mainly be seen on motorways, highways and you may even see them on streets. I've got the semi truck. Now the one I've got here with the trailer you can have it with or without. I have it carrying gravel so it's like it's car carrying building supplies. It's very long as well. Each of these vehicles are three wide and the road's five wide, so there's plenty of space for wind mirrors and stuff and extra little detailing blocks. And here we have a little bus. Now I'm going to make a double decker variant of this later on. I don't know if we'll do it today. But yeah, you'll see these on the mo the highways and stuff, but in streets like this, you can see down there we're going to add in some areas bus lanes so only buses can use it. Now we've got them in the UK along with cycle lanes but I don't know if they have it in the US. But I know I have it here. And you may be wondering what is this thing? Well last episode I think I mentioned it. I wanted to make a sort of train transportation system. Not Well we're going to have a subway so that counts as one but this one would cut it wouldn't have multiple stops close together, the the stops, well the stations would be further apart from one side of the city to the other. So yeah, this is a maglev. Maglev is short for magnetic levitation. So basically, that means that the train doesn't actually have wheels or anything. It isn't, basically it isn't connected to the track, but it is due to magnets, opposite magnets attract yes so yeah the attract and it's less there's less air resistance too that's why the ones you see you don't you don't really see much of them in cities these days but they can move really really fast like hundreds of kilometers per hour so yeah so we went with this traditional diagonal design which you see in a lot of them these days more aerodynamic and well it's very bland right now I could make it wider I may even do that and you see we've got an interior it's not much with it really but yeah and we've got a little design for the actual rail line and as you can see we're using quartz stairs but if you look under here we've got stairs here as well and you can see how the actual train would slot in to the track if it was a normal one and you can also see how it levitates because it's kind of floating but it isn't so yeah it's, it's it was a very good idea I've spent a little bit of time on it I'm not entirely sure of the train just yet if you have any suggestions please put it in the comment section down below or message me on anything and as you can, obviously as you can probably tell I still have a cold and I'm also still having the problem where I can't 
go into full screen and stuff so my instance for Minecraft is tiny but that means I can see if my recording software is actually recording so I guess that's a plus. Anyway, today we're going to implement a road like this and we're going to put the maglev train on it. We're going to add vehicles and we're around. We're going to add some normal cars as well. I'll probably get some designed and then put them in. And I suppose we can start planning where we're going to put buildings, which buildings are going to go where. We're going to split the city up into districts. So you have a commercial district, uh, a governmental district, so you have all your parliament buildings and all that. Stuff very simple, really. So, I guess I hope you enjoy the time lapse which we're going to do. You you all seem to have enjoyed the time lapses we've done in the past, but yeah, this one should be good.
Okay guys, so hope you enjoyed that time lapse. It was a little bit longer than what we normally do. This is going to be our longest episode yet. So yeah, that's good. Anyway, I hope you you like what you've seen. Like the cars, we don't have much to look at. We've got a Mini Cooper, a Range Rover, bus, truck, high speed train. Yeah, as you've seen the the last few minutes of the time lapse, we modified the train a bit, and in my opinion, it looks a lot better. Now that I look at it, I wish I made it longer, but I suppose I can do that off camera. And of course, off camera as well, I'm going to add in some more vehicles and probably make some more because we need more. And I hope you enjoyed the little traffic lights we have. I may modify them slightly because it doesn't look right. Because if you go up right close, the item frames aren't connected. So, yeah. Anyways, I think we're going to end it there for today next episode we're going to start with our first building which will be going on this street somewhere and it's going to be a hotel so make sure if you like the sound of that make sure to hit that like button try and get this episode to five likes that would be very helpful and as always thank you for watching